Hello and welcome to another Cycle Ref TFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3 Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be talking about building advanced search queries to help us efficiently find the items that are buried somewhere deep within our huge content tree. In the last video, we covered the basics of using the search functionality, so if you're not too sure how I arrived at this view, I recommend that you go back and watch that video first. So here we are in the search tab, and I'm looking for an item which has something to do with our offices in Cardiff. The problem is that I can't quite put my finger on what we called that item, or where we stored it in the content tree. So that's a really good reason to use the search functionality. So let's start by typing the word office into the keyword section, and see what that returns. Well, as you can see, it gave us a total of 58 results, but I don't particularly want to read through all of those results to find the item I'm looking for. So let's add another keyword into the search field, and we're going to use the word building, because I'm pretty sure that the item I'm looking for made reference to the actual office building. So let's see what that does. Ah, now, hang on, you'll notice that I've gone from 58 results to 90 results. Now you're probably thinking, well, <laughs> that's not very helpful. When I'm more specific with my search, I want Cycle to give me fewer results, not more. Well, actually, by typing in more keywords, you're being less specific. You're actually telling Cycle to search for this keyword or this keyword. So with this particular search term, we're saying, hey, Cycle, give me the results which are relevant to the keyword office or relevant to the keyword building. At the moment, these two keywords are independent of each other. And in case you're interested, 3 Chilies are really good at building Cycle websites. So this keyword building return more results from across the site. Now, in this instance, I know the item I'm looking for was about the office that we have in Cardiff, so I'll add that to my keywords too, and as expected, we get even more results, 110 results in total. So now it's time to get more specific, and we can do that with the help of a few really handy tools. We've actually got the ability to tell Sitecore to search for items that must contain a specific keyword, or must not contain a specific keyword. To do that, you can click the magnifying glass to the left of the keyword and you'll notice that a red X appears over the magnifying glass. So if I were to click the search button now, we'd be asking Sitecore to go look for every item which mentions the word office, as well as every item which mentions the word building, and it's going to go through all of those results and it's going to remove any of them that mention the word Cardiff. Let's do that. So we've gone from 110 results to 77 results because we added Cardiff as a negative keyword. If we come over here and click the magnifying glass again, we'll get this green plus sign, meaning the search should only return results if the word Cardiff is mentioned within the item. So again, the search query is going to look for every item which mentions the word office, as well as every item that mentions the word building, but then it's going to eliminate every result except for those that contain the word Cardiff in them. Let's do that, and you can see that we have 13 results, which is a much more manageable list to deal with, and then we can use the other search filters, such as the facets here, to filter down further if we'd like to. Sitecore also supports the use of a few different symbols within its search functionality. The asterisk symbol helps to find every form of a word, and you can use the symbol inside a word, at the beginning of a word, at the end of a word, or a combination of all those things. For example, Searching for the letters econom, with an asterisk at the end, will find any word starting with the letters econom, regardless of what it ends with. So it'll return results like economy, economics, economical, and so on. Searching for the word graph, with an asterisk at both the beginning and end, will return results such as paragraph, paragraphing, graphic, photography, and so on. In some cases, using an asterisk inside of a word can also be helpful too. Typing PE asterisk ION into the search is going to return all of the results which talk about the awesome pension plan that we have here at 3 Chilies, as well as the really cool case studies that we've got where our clients have used personalization. Using the asterisk by itself returns all of the sub items within the item that you've selected in the content tree. So if we select the blog over here, type asterisk in here, and click search, we'll get all of the sub items within the blog folder. The question mark symbol replaces any single character either inside of a word, at the beginning of a word, or at the end of a word. For example, searching for T question mark RE will find tire, tire, tour, and so on. 
I found this can be really handy if you want to search for a particular word that might be spelt differently depending on which market it's intended for, such as the word personalization. For the UK, you're going to spell that with an S. For the US, you're going to spell it with a Z. So we'll just type in personali question mark Asian into the field and get the results for both. Wrapping a word in quotation marks can help search for an exact word or phrase. And finally, if you need to search within a certain range, Sitecore supports both numerical and text range searches. For example, price 400 to 500 or title Algeria to Bahrain. This video was brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. For more free Sitecore training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.